All right. Well, hello and welcome. Welcome and hello. Today's Thursday, which means that it is vlog day, and we're speeding down the highway. What is this, the 8? We're on the 8. We are on the 8. We're on the 8. Somewhere in Alpine. It's somewhere. Beautiful. Yeah, it's gorgeous out here. It's beautiful Alpine. Beautiful. It's just beautiful. But uh, this is going to be a bit of a travel vlog. Uh, my swell, myself and Mr. Omboy OC, or Yawk. Call him Yawk. I thought you were going to call me your swell mate. Swell mate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you no. Know, you started out, I thought we were going to be swell mates. Swell mates? My swell, my mate. swell mate? Yeah. You just go get our pup on. Check out the guns. Uh, uh. We're headed to the Vapor Dynasty Expo, Phoenix, Arizona, to hang out and vape with strangers that we don't know. Nope. It's gonna be great. It's yep. gonna be fun. And uh, meet some new friends. Meet some new friends. Do. Get white girl wasted. Yep. I think that's Good how it, that's how we usually roll, I guess. But some, uh, some Jameson maybe? Some Jamo? Sprite back? Yeah. You're gonna drink some of uh, your oats? Oats and beer. Oats. What? I don't know what you guys drink. What is that? Oh, like oats? oatmeal stout? Yeah, like a stout. Yeah. Like one of those stouty things. Oats. <laughs> We're going to have some of those. We're going to have an oat bag. Oh, my ears just pumped. Yeah, me oh. too. It's a fascinating, thrilling video. Well, we're heading down the highway at really a lot of speed. Energy weapons. We got the new Clutch album on, and it's good. It's great. We're, we're just rebellious old men. <laughs> You're going to get flagged. This video already got flagged. It already got flagged, yeah, because you can hear Clutch in the background, exactly. <laughs> Don't Fuck. flag this video. YouTube. Shit, come on, Clutch. Don't be come on, YouTube. Don't let me down. Hell yeah, dude. Check out this sweet rental car, bro. It's a uh, a Nissan Sentra. I'm not sure if you've ever heard of it. Is it's, it a Sentra? Yeah, it says Sentra on the thing. That's a Sentra. Nissan Sentra. It's classy. It's classy Keeping aff. Keeping it classy. Keeping it classy aff. So many batteries. Vape Capital. Three. New Age Cleopatra. One. Vape Capital. Steven. Steven's over here going, I want to be in the vlog. So now Steven officially. Hi, Mom. I'm in, in the vlog. He's in the vlog. <laughs> he's in it. Whether he wants to be or not, he's in it. Yeah. It's going to be on YouTube forever. You can show your kids this video. I'm gonna. And I'm going to have a kid, too. Uh, oh, congratulations! <laughs> oh, your kid's in the vlog! My kid is in the vlog. That's amazing. bananas for free stuff so I'm gonna s I got an easy dripper we're gonna put it on will they get mad if I put this on the windshield huh they won't, they won't get mad but it'll leave I'll put it up here so it doesn't leave like a ring but look at that like an easy dripper we're dripping and driving bro what it's in there uh mango sticky rice you don't like it mango what sticky rice? mango sticky rice is bomb bro I'll try it. I'll try it. Try First it. Case scenario, You'll try it. I mean, I know. like ruined and you can rewick it. It's not. <laughs> As co captain, that's your yeah, chore. Okay. Okay. Well, only one person can do a strawberry apple peach. So, God forbid. Yeah, God else forbid. Uses an organic strawberry instead of a sweet strawberry in it. Unbelievable. It's totally different. Look at you and your little kanger. So, look at that. That's what I got. That's what is this? That is the IPV 75 one. Oh, the D2. IPV D2. And you got a Kanger tank? I got the D. Is this your travel vapes? It's 
my first tank. See, this is my travel vapes. The Dude, 44. Even... And a, and a Kragen tank packed with my E from Lane Co. Oh, my E. My E. Might be sharing that one. My E. <laughs> Californians. We want to take the five? Yeah, you need to take to the, the five south. Five. Go right no, there. North. Five north. Five north? Yeah. We want really? To, take to the get eight. to Arizona? To the eight. I'm going to pull this up on you Google Maps because I don't believe Are we going through Mexico or are we going to go through America? No, I think <laughs> we're going to go through America. <laughs> okay, and then please so the five north. north. Go left up here, okay. right there. We'll follow the signs. Trust me, I used to okay. geograph down here. I don't geograph. I don't geography, bro. What do you think of the sweet ride? It's smooth, man. Yeah. It's like, I feel like a like a rap, like a rap guy. Don't you feel I like a rap guy? I feel like a drug cartel. I feel like drug we work Lord. for the drug cartel. <laughs> Every drug runner. The Lindo drug cartel. Owns a Just as a general. Every drug around. dealer owns a Nissan. Everyone. Is that the drug? Is that the the car of choice? Nissan owns yeah. for drug dealers. Yeah, that's good. We would uh always stop at like the worst taco stands we could find on the way down there. Oh yeah. Like we saw like a three-toed dog. <laughs> a three-toed dog? The dog had three toes. I don't know how many toes the dog was supposed to have, but it wasn't normal. Needless to say, I think dogs have best. three toes. No. A three, you're talking about like a three-legged dog? Hoof. Oh a three-toed a three-toed dog is a hoof? That a three-toed foot is a hoof? Three no, toes. hoofs are two. Hoofs are two. They're cloven. It's a cloven hoof, like Lord Satan. <laughs> Anyways, amazing tacos at the taco stand. So, if you see any sketch-looking dogs, we're going to stop there. We're going to stop at the sketch-looking dogs because they know where the best tacos are. They hang out at the best taco stands. Well, Dwayne's driving uh, 162 miles an hour right now. Just keeping it down. Got to get there. We got to get yeah. to Arizona. We got things to do. Yeah. We're uh, speeding. <laughs> Excessively. <laughs> Excessively. We got this. We got the easy dripper going right here. And we tried putting it up here, but it kept falling. It yeah. fell like four times. Well, like two. Like two times. Well, but it works. I'll just let me allow me to demonstrate. Look at that. Oh, it's, yeah, it's sturdy. It's, there. it's sturdy. Yep. Then you take your little dripper and you go, bleh, that's it. You're dripped. You can do the vapors now. You can make safely. Safely make the vapors. Watch out for the semi-truck. You told me to tell you if we're going to hit anything. <laughs> that looked like we were going to hit something. We'll go around it. But, uh, yeah, we're still going. So you can either... The OG way, right? Right. Let's put this which on camera. Just Dwayne highly... driving with his knee. We shouldn't show that. I'm not showing that, Dwayne. But but he dripped. That. It's a straightaway. There's nobody around him. No. It's perfectly safe. And then it does the vapors. But I would much rather just. Yeah. I'm not gonna step. But that's on my filled face up with mango, and you don't want mango. Whatever. No, we got a. Oh yeah, we got bro trip juice. We got custom. some three milligram bro trip. Yep. <laughs> no one's ever had it's a before. three milligram bro trip. Yeah, it's a good juice. No one's had it. No. They will though, right? Well, okay. I mean, I can't say that. No, Should we I say can't. That? We can't. We can't say, say that. We can't disclose fully that it's like a bottle cap flavor. Okay. But it's gonna taste something like bottle caps. You'll, You'll get it. it. You'll have it eventually, someday. Bro, do you even rain? Yeah! <laughs> Who says there's a drought? Yeah, come on! There's literally rain falling from the sky. Yeah. The rain was over, that's it. That's all we get. That was a little scary. Thanks a lot, God. 65. Yeah, we're doing 80. <laughs> Perfect. Dude, that's fine. They won't get you. You know why? Because he was doing 80 in a 65. See the easy dripper stays up even in the rain? 
earth. It looks like Lord of the Rings. How come it's wet here but the rocks look dry? They're water absorbing rocks. Maybe we should use rocks for wicking. Wick. Yeah, we could use like like a uh, volcanic wick. rock for our wicks. We've already said too much. The top I'm secret sorry. shit right there. Your logo is cooler than my logo. No, I think your logo is way better than mine. Mine's just. See, mine's just copyright infringement if we're gonna get technical. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, that's the Kiss Army logo. Really? I just ripped, I just stole it. But the thing is, the Kiss Army logo gets ripped off by like hundreds of companies. Like, yeah. you remember, do you know the, do you ever listen to the Melvins? Actually, yes. Yeah, the Melvins released Melvins Army t shirts. Oh, and it's that same logo, logo oh. but it just says Melvins Army. Mm -hmm. And, um, like way back, in fact, Pickle is re re responsible for the Grim Army logo because this is a long back ra roundabout story. But way back in 2010, she worked for a company called Pure Smoker, and they were releasing a new mod, and they held a contest on ECF to design the logo for the mod. I see. And so I submitted a design for the logo for the mod, and. I was in like third place, and she's like, "Dude, your need, your logo needs to win. It's the best one." She's like, "Can't you get your fucking army to vote for you?" And I was like, "Yeah, I'll just rally the Grim Army." Oh. And she's like, "You do. You have the Grim Army." And so it was born. It was it born. Birthed. The Grim Army. I started That's using. I started using the hashtag Grim Army, and then before I knew it, a lot of people were using it, and then. I made up that logo because I was such a huge KISS fan that I made up, I used the KISS army, I made the Grim army. What are you going to do if you get a cease from. and desist? Uh, I haven't really yet, it's life. been seven years. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty much... So, like, I think I'm okay for now. There's got to be a seven but like, rule. And there's like skate shops and companies that all rip off that same, that same KISS army graphic. I, I think it's like public domain now, like it has to be. Unless Gene Simmons comes knocking on my door. Which would be fun. And he's cool. like, uh, we're gonna need uh, 5% of all your Grim Army t shirt sales. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. He'd be like, yeah, we sold $12 worth last yeah, exactly. year. Yeah, exactly. I sold go. one t shirt last year. Yeah. Friday Night Delight playlist as we pull into beautiful Arizona. It's a little weird here. Yeah, it's weird. Mark. Yeah, their signs Yuma. look weird. Their signs look weird. Yeah. It's okay. Reminds me of uh, Canada. It, it does remind me of a lot of Canada. It doesn't smell as much like hockey, though. And no. maple syrup. It doesn't smell like socks and maple syrup. Socks. Yeah. This hotel that I'm staying at here in Phoenix, Arizona, was evidently was built in 1922. It's got a very creepy feel to it. I'm 100% sure that it's haunted. Uh, there's ghosts are gonna walk out of this door in the middle of the night. It just, it it's old, it feels old. There's a dark closet over here. It just has like a very haunted vibe to it. I'm sure, I'm sure it's haunted. I'm just 100% sure right now that it's haunted so that's great should be an interesting four nights I hope I don't get molested by any ghosts but we're right now me and Dwayne are gonna try to we're gonna go next door to the pub get some beers get some food and just uh, rock out with our genitals exposed it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be good times bro uh, what's this focaccia for lunch for the event it's focaccia. Pasha. Yeah, that's what I just said. Pakasha. Yeah, just it, you know what this event reminds me of is uh, Niagara. Yeah, very nice. Right. That's good. Uh, first impressions. First impressions. It reminds me of Niagara. Yep. Royal Masters here with their tab uh, five two one. Yeah. That home reader. Have you used that? I have. Good shit. Yeah. Good shit. Good shit. Clouded. Power. 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 Here, do you want to film and Gets just down? So this is a this is a quick release for your 510. So there's a base and then a cap. The cap goes into your atomizer. The base goes into your device, and you go what? 
Blah. Blah. That's it. You're done. And then you can go. <laughs> you have to find that spot. And you get better at it. Yeah, I'm assuming you get better at it. Blah. And then it's back on. Yeah. And you get two caps for 35 bucks. Yeah. What do you think of this, Yak? Amazing. <laughs> He's a man of a few words. Amazing. No, it's, it's a called good the screw off. So, so screw off. I just want to see everybody have to say screw off. Yeah, I'm using my screw That's off. That's half the deal. Screw off. Tell people to screw off. Screw off. off. Bro, bro. Screw off. Yeah. Screw off. Screw off, bro. What are you vaping on? Screw off. Screw off. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> no, really. I like seeing a new product that isn't a new juice line. Yeah, but you know, juice, <laughs> or more juice, or more juice, or another custard, or like, 100%. this is our new four post RDA. Yeah. Like, oh, cool. Yeah. It looks a lot like the another RDA that I've seen <laughs> a lot of. It's a sub ohm cell. That's a <laughs> E fast. <laughs> yep. no, you do know your batteries. You know your batteries. Vape capital. Yeah, I'm taking a vape. I'm taking a vape capital bottle. I don't even care. Call the cops. Don't actually call the cops, but call the cops. Three, two, one. Big capital. Oh, that was good. Oh, that was good. Such a good cloud. Big capital. Dwayne's getting out, uh, what, what are you getting out? Two G's? Three G's? $200 limit, bro. What $200 is up? limit? Yeah, and it won't give me back. Well, we just did the B2B day at uh, Vapor Giants, the Expo. It wasn't, it wasn't a whole lot of people. No. It was kind of dead, but it was nice. It was kind of dead, but uh, that was actually really, really nice. And we it's got, raining oh, outside. Oh, fucking hell. Hence those warnings we got on our phone. Well, we're going to have to wait for it to stop raining so that we can walk. Not in the rain. Fucking hell. Dude. It's Arizona, bro. What's up God with you? What's up with Arizona? Just say God hates us. It's because God hates us. It's because we live in a godless world full of pain. We have rock stars. Yeah, see, this is where you should have got your rock star. But yeah, the B2B day, it was actually really nice to be able to walk around uh, and talk to all the vendors. Um, I got a sweet new RDA from Mod Fuel. They hooked it up. I got an orange version of their new RDA. I don't quite remember the name. But we got some tanks. We got uh, a bunch of juice. About to be living that tank this life. Company? The FFDA? Yep. FFDA? Sure. Yeah. Sure. We got Coilmaster nonsense. Coilmaster hooked it up. Coilmaster hooked it up. We'll have to show you this sweet. Later. It's like a, yeah, it it's just cool. looks like a thing in plastic now, but it really does a lot of cool it's stuff. It's going to hold juice bottles, but tomorrow yeah. the public will be here and it'll be bananas. B A N A N A S. <laughs> <laughs> you did not just do that. I did. Oh, I did it. I put it out there. But uh, yeah, good times. Good times here in Arizona. Dwayne made us go on the other side of the street this time, so yeah. that we would avoid being tempted by the naked statues again. Yeah. And I just want to say the weather here in Phoenix, Arizona is just delightful. Yeah. It's warm, but it's not wet. Yeah. And it's overcast it's today. Right it feels like it's not like too much humid. It feels like it's, it's like maybe 68 degrees right now. Yeah, it's probably 75. It's probably but like 65 degrees. A comfortable it's a comfortable months. temperature yeah. and uh yeah so day yeah two? day two i guess two. here we go
20 gauge, seven round. 20 gauge, seven round. What's the what's gonna be the resistance? I don't know. I've never built that high. You've never built that high? I've never built that high. <laughs> killing it. Killing Just killing the killing, killing the build game. We're over here in the builder's block. It's the builder's corner. It's over here in the corner of the expo. No, rip trippers. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Dude, it's an honor, man. Cool, man. I've followed you like the entire time. Like, the big man. Like, cool. Started me That's awesome, man. Thank you. Man, right, right on. Hey, what's up, brother? What's up, brother? Love the you? clutch shirt, dude. Fuck yeah. So safe. Why am I getting a pick with you, man? Not at all. Cool. I have to shoot at first impressions for this RDA. What's it called? No, no, it's called this one. The one with the kabuki mask. This is for bait picks. It's called something else. Excuse me. I'm We're trying to shoot a first picks. impressions here, bro. Okay, I'm trying to shoot. My battery is going to die. Can't do first impressions right now. Sorry. We're supposed to be for this thing. Postless RDA. And I can't do it. My battery is dead. Look at that. Yep. It's going to record for like five more seconds. Four, three. You want me to video Just shoot it. it. Shoot it. No, I don't want it to cut off halfway. I want to get the full thing. Full thing. Postless RDA. Honeycomb airflow. The honeycomb airflow. It's, I don't want to take that cap off because it's got that like honeycomb pattern in the drip tip that I don't like very much. But the airflow is really nice. It's like it's like half as airy as the phenotype. It's like a quarter as airy as the phenotype. How are the O-rings? It's much stronger than the phenotype. And the twisted messes. And the twisted messes. It's better than both of those RDAs already. You think we could find out who makes their O-rings? We should get their O-ring supplier. Yeah. O-ring.com. Oh, it's at it's at rdaorings.com. Does anybody own that? Buy that. Done. RDAORings.com. That's a great idea. Nobody steal that idea. I'm buying it right now, and this won't be released till Thursday. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna buy RDAORings.com because that's a great idea. I don't even remember the name of this. It's called the. I'm gonna look on the bottom. It's called the Hayana. Hayana? The Hayana. Hayana. Blitz Enterprise. Hey, the Hayna. The Hayna from Blitz Enterprises. Post this RDA. I post a picture of it on Instagram. It's been all right, man. I don't. I can't drip through the tip because of that honeycomb in there. But flavor's nice. The O-rings are strong, and uh, it's clouds, bro. They work harder. Let's move around. Right. <laughs> That's vape capital right there. Thanks, Hell yeah, dude. Vape what's up. capital. So it's the end of the second day. Today yep. was much crazier than yesterday. There was a lot of people. But we got beer. We got some chicken nuggets. <laughs> yeah, those are bomb. Those are really good. Those they were actually like really good. We're gonna go to the after party tonight. Uh, we're gonna do it again. Oh, now it's see it's dying. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Oh, Chad. Right there. Want to go on an adventure for Brittany? Show her the Cheeksy's kind of here. Oh, uh, well, she here. Yeah, you're gonna end up on the vlog. Cheeksy's kind of here. She's kind of here. It's basically like having her here. It's kind of like it's she's basically here. Basically, like but... she's here. I'm gonna talk real fast about this Nephos. I'm uh. Here's the thing. It's Vapor Dynasty Expo. Okay. Builder's block. This is where we kind of been hanging out a little bit. But I picked up this new mech mod from Nephos. Nephos. There's a silver one, super silver plated, and then the black one that's called Midnight. And they put GrimGreen.com in there, which is always nice, but not necessarily gonna make it a really good mod. It's uh it's been hitting really well. I've been using those new not they say they're 38 amp batteries but they're not they're not 38 amp batteries um, battery mooch actually saw my post on Instagram the mod works saw my post on Instagram and he's like bro 
You're not even gonna guess. I just tested those just batteries. Last the expo, we've got some huge uh, stage giveaways at four o'clock. Tens of people the expo. Huge okay. stage giveaways at the main stage at four o'clock. Thank you. Awesome. He's like, yeah, they're 20 amp batteries, and so uh, I've been rocking the dot mod, just Marie Double Helix design tricker cap on the Nephos today, and it's been. Great, the batteries hit hard, the mod hits uh, really hard. What's really interesting about this device is the bottom button it doesn't screw in, it's an O-ring on the bottom, right? And it's this special sort of kind of O-ring, I guess, that are really expensive, and uh, I want them to put them in an RDA, but then that would just make the RDA way more expensive. Yeah. The whole bottom it. cap, the whole switch assembly is held in by an O-ring. I was skeptical, I'm still skeptical, but so far it's been working. Let me try to blow some clouds here, bro. Hell yeah, dude. Weather system. But anyway, that's what I've been rocking today so far. The Nephos, Nephos? I think it's Nephos. Nephos? I think it's Nephos. I think it's Nephos. Uh, mech mod. It's been rad. Button's black, but matte black, it matches the the dot mod, I think that just looks, I think that just looks super cool, and that's why I want to rock it. But uh, I really hope there's enough footage. Shout out to all our sponsors this year, United States 2015. Number one, high voltage guys. Oh, they're gonna list off all the sponsors right now. Cool, awesome. That's the painting I made for you. What? For me? Yes. Really? Yes. Dude, that is fucking awesome. What? And she did it. She works for Allison Vape Land. She made this. What? That's so cool. That's really boring, Dwayne. Yeah, I, you, what do you want me to do? You want me Build. to fucking... Build! Yeah. Master, harder! Build. Build! Build, monkey, build! I'm building, bro! I'm building! Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> That's badass. I'm honored. I'm honored to be on your mods. <laughs> oh, you just want to eat her up. I love you. Hi. I love you. I love your videos. Oh, thank you. Of course, do you mind being in my vlog? Dynasty Expo is all over. Everybody's shutting down. Everybody's shutting down. There was, that, was, that was James. That was James from Rigmon. Everybody's shutting down. Really great event. Really great vaping community here in Arizona. Obviously, huge shout outs to everybody that came out. But Kidney puncher. The trick is to re-spool these. Re-spool them. Yeah. The 54 gauge. 54 gauge. Have to re-spool. Re like the small little yard yeah. spools. Because the tension of the rotation of them will snap. snap it. Yeah, you need them on the lightweight, real small. Yeah. School. Anyway, Vapor anyway. Dynasty Expo, really great, really fun. I really hope I have enough footage to put together uh, a full vlog from this. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Might be a short vlog. We can put other stuff in there as well. So, yeah. Like smaller, like times. I mean, I'm assuming we'll film stuff on the way home too, because. Road trip, because bro trip 2015, hashtag bro trip. Well, it was, wow. it was a good weekend. That it was. We had a good time, I had a good time, did you have a good time? I enjoyed the show. He enjoyed the show. It was, uh, it was good. I tried to get a lot of footage of the, of the event. There's uh, just random shenanigans and nonsense in there. We stayed in a haunted hotel. 
Yeah. I tried to bang the ghost of Marilyn Monroe, yeah. but it didn't work. No. Uh, the hotel was very haunted, though. Yeah. I swear yeah. to God, one night I heard like, like nails like clacking on the wall. Not from the door. It couldn't have been you. It was whoever was next to me was clacking on the wall. The kids. Probably the children from yeah. the 20s that died there, there. Our hotel used to be a school, and my kids died there, and people say that you, they could hear kids playing in the hallway. Yeah. This morning, all I heard really early in the morning, like 5 in the morning, I just heard a bunch of doors opening and shutting and opening and shutting and opening and shutting. Their doors were not The doors, they well, were terrible. Yeah. Yeah. But... Yeah, overall, it was fun. Paper Dynasty was a cool show. Yeah. It was a good size. It wasn't too big. ECC no. was too big. This wasn't that big. No. This reminded me more of the SoCal Apex, though. Yeah. I like they had a lot of builders there. They did. They had the whole, like, builder corner. Yep. What did they call it, though? Builder's Block? Yeah, the Builder's Block. The Builder's Block. It was in the cut. So it was in the cut. Not a lot of people could see it or knew it was there. Right. But they were there. They were building on stop all the time. Yeah, there was always people over there. Yeah. People were people want those builds. That's great. Cleo got a build from uh, Coil Turd. Did she? Yeah. Coil Turd built this. Coil Turd built two of mine. 50 gauge. 50 yeah, gauge. 50 fused. gauge no fields. Yeah. We've just been having a cloud comp in the car. I got uh let's talk about this RDA a little bit. I don't know the name of it, but it's the new Mod Fuel RDA. Yeah. Oh, it's called the Fuel Cell. It's printed on there. Uh-huh. Fuel Cell. You can't see it. You can't shit, see it for shit, but it does say Fuel Cell on there. And it's got like Mutation X airflow, and it's got, it's a three post deck. That's a coil to a 50 gauge build. Does it look like the Dark Horse deck? It looks exactly like the Dark Horse deck. Yeah. Yeah, it it's three, really close three square posts. Yeah. Square insulator. Square post, square insulator. Super deep juice well. And the atomizer itself is really tall. Yeah. That's the really dark horse tall. was really tall. Like, I'm used to the Petri. Yeah, but that's... You, I would that say that's tall. even taller. Yeah, this is dark horse. Yeah, this is, I think this is taller than the dark With horse. With the chub, it is, definitely. Like, that's so tall. But it looks cool. Orange and black for Halloween. Like, I'm gonna rock that. Like, that's, that's my yeah. thing. I have an airflow, like, mostly closed off, and it's still really airy. Is it? If you close this off, it kind of feels like the anarchist cap a little bit, uh -huh. which is the airflow, like that the Petri that I really like. Yeah. This is really airy, too. I like it. But yeah, but that's the cloud cap. I wasn't a huge fan of the cloud cap. I like the chumps that are short for hey, this. Yeah, I like the short chumps. I don't need... Deep that's a lot of chop. Yeah, that's like I feel it on my tonsils. Yeah, when you just feel it in your <laughs> in your <laughs> lung. Yeah. <laughs> Big capital. It's a pretty cool RDA, though. I mean, I don't know. It's it's not anything unique or extraordinary or no. game changing. It's just a big tall RDA with a fuck ton of airflow and a three post deck. Yeah. It looks neat. They did a bunch of colors. I picked the orange one because I, I don't have an orange RDA, so I was like, yeah, I want an orange one. But they did green and blue and red and orange and black and stainless. The green one looked a little weird. I'm not the green cool. one was like a really dark forest green. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't it? attractive. It was really I dark. I would have snagged the orange. Yeah, I like the orange. Out of all the colors, I think the orange looked the coolest. It did. That was a good choice. That was a good choice, right? Yeah. Go Nick. What was your favorite and, uh, part of the show there, buddy? My favorite part of the show? Like, the actual show? <laughs> the event. The event. Uh, I don't know. We uh, we hung out with... Uh, I like hanging out in the builders area. That was cool. That was cool. Yeah. Just cool people over there. We hung out with Kidney Puncher a lot as well. Yeah. Yeah. Those were like the two places we went back and forth. Uh, I was like, I was like seeing James from Rig Mod. Yeah. Um, I picked up the that new Roughneck version 2 for the Rig V2. I got one of those as well. I'm going to have to go home and build that. Yeah, that thing looks legit. It looks legit on the Rig mod. Yeah, They did a good awesome. job. Like, that match is perfect. Well, and he's going to have a, an, like a, an attachment for it 
so that you can screw it to this attachment and then read your ohms. Oh, gotcha. And then unscrew the attachment and, you know, hybrid it to your to your rig. Yeah, because they're not using them in a lot of cloud pumps because there's not an ohm meter. Right. You can just screw it There's going to be an ohm meter attachment. But the yeah. problem is, I don't know what the, like, the resistance of the ohm of the of the base is going to be. So if your build is like a 0.12 and then you attach this base, it could read it as like a 0.14. Yeah. It could add resistance to it. It probably will be something. So they might, you might have to minimal, subtract. Something. Yeah, minimal, yeah. but something. It's not going to be 100% accurate because the base has to have resistance in it. Yeah. Yeah. It has There's to. stuff in it. Yeah. There's stuff in it. There's yeah. resistance in There's it. There's resistance so stuff inside the base. They put resistance stuff in it. Yeah. Purposefully. Yeah. If he did that, that would be such a dick move. That would be awesome. You're like, oh, this is a point two build. Yeah. I can run it on, you know, it's this. A point but it's really five. like a, yeah, like a yeah. point oh five. Yeah. Eighteen gauge in one wrap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good to go. Messes it all Start up. This shit. That's I'm amazing. Win this big I'd capital. be so pissed. Oh. But uh, uh, yeah, James is a good guy. Greg was there. And that's where the camera cut off. So Oh boy, OC and I were sitting in the car uh, talking about stuff, and memory card went memory card went full, and uh, <laughs> it cut off a really great conversation we were having. We went on to talk about vaping for like another 20 minutes about how we started and what we used to use, and all the stuff that Dwayne missed out on back in like 2009. Blah blah blah, all this stuff. We had a really great conversation. It bums me out that it wasn't on camera, but but but. Uh, I'm just going to wrap up this uh, vlog here now that I'm back home, back in my room here on the GoPro. Had a great uh, had a great trip, spent good times with good people, met a lot of really cool people, and it's always a bummer because I get emails and messages afterward, after the event, where people say, oh, I saw you at, at Vapor Dynasty Expo, but I didn't come say hi, you looked too busy, or there were too many people around you, or... Uh, you walked away and I couldn't get to you. Just come say hi. I mean that it bums me out that there's people who went to the uh, to the event uh, and and wanted to meet me or or you know shake my hand or take a picture or have a vape or do something and then they don't they don't get to and that bums me out. And so just always you can always come say hi unless I'm eating or heading to the bathroom. Sometimes even then it's okay, but just just come say hi. I mean, I'm a super approachable dude. You can come up, shake my hand. I'll, I'll give you a hug, uh, especially if you're a girl. I'll give you a hug. Um, but yeah, had a great event. Uh, I do now have to pick the winner for the big giveaway. So I had 625 entries. Absolutely, thank you so much, everybody, for entering. Uh, I tried watching the entries as they came in, but it got to be ridiculous. So thank you everybody, obviously, yes, for entering. And like I said, this wasn't based on who had the best video or the coolest video, the best and the coolest. I'm gonna go through and save those and hopefully use them as I craft my new vlog intro, which should be happening uh, eventually. Let's give it before the end of the year, at least. Um, but what I'm gonna do is go through, like I said, save all the cool ones. You might end up, you might be surprised, you might end up in the new vlog intro, but random.org picked number 515, email number 515, fella named Michael Liebwitz. Yes, yes, and this is the video he did. Just vaping next to a zombie. Totally cool, not sure it'll make it into the intro, but totally cool, thank you for entering. Michael Liebowitz, I'm going to email you back, hopefully get all your uh, all your shipping information and stuff like that, but, uh, but congrats, brother. And obviously, thank you everybody for entering. I do have a bunch of giveaway stuff, so chances are there will be another giveaway, hopefully, hopefully soon. Maybe we'll do uh, you know, a Thanksgiving giveaway like we did last year around a Christmas time giveaway or something like that. But yeah, that's what I got. Chose the winner. Went to Vapor Dynasty Expo. Shot a whole bunch of footage. I hope you enjoy. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching me and Mr. Uh, Ownboy OC just be idiots for a weekend. Uh, had a lot of fun. 
there's a bunch of weird stuff in there. I mean, there's a bunch of weird first impressions in there at random times, and the camera cuts off, and blah blah blah. And hopefully, it turned out good enough. Hopefully, it's hopefully it's enough usable stuff to actually get a vlog done. And I'm shooting this video right now before I'm even starting to edit it, so I don't know if it's gonna be cool. Hopefully, it turned out cool. But anyway, that's what I got for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'll see you next week, and as always, yes, let's keep on vaping.
yeah, still, still vapor coming out the bottom. Yeah, I can't get can't, it all through. You can't get it all through. No. Maybe, if, maybe it's designed to take like a shorter drag. Let's try a shorter Like drag. maybe it can only do so much vapor coming out the bottom. Let's do a shorter drag here. Let's juice back up. Like maybe it has a limitation as to how much vapor it can actually filter. Maybe if there was a tank or something on here, right. that might work a lot better because yeah. it does drastically reduce. On there, it does the reduce it a yes, lot. But I could see maybe with a tank it might work better. Blow. Yeah, I can still see vapor coming in. I couldn't do that in yeah. an airplane. You can't, no, no, you couldn't do that in an airplane. But as a responsible vapor, we wouldn't be vaping in an airplane anyway, no, right? No, because you can get a lot right. of Just get the vapor. Right, 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 right. Yep, yep. You've never but vaped on an airplane. I have not. I want to do that. I'm just outstanding citizen. I was on an airplane one time next to this guy, and he has his little iStick 50 watt, and I'm clear, and that, you know, that Kanger tank, right? Uh -huh. And he's like, just holding it, and I'm like, oh, he's like, you vape? He's like, it's like, oh yeah, do you? And I was like, yeah. And so I grabbed out my gear and I'm showing it to him. And so we're sitting there on the plane ride, and like five minutes after we take off, he's just <laughs> <laughs> like vape capital in yeah. the back of the plane. And I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> no. uh, and like, you know, Two seconds later, this you know the, the air hostess or whatever comes up, and she's like, "Oh, sorry, you can't use your this thing on the plane." Yeah. And he's like, "Oh, I didn't know." Yeah, you're, you're like, like, "Way to go, Dick!" What? You just, just made us look that. like idiots, and now I can't wait. Yeah. You've already been warned. You've already been warned. She's yeah. on her. She's we're already on her radar. So no, you couldn't use that on a plane. No. You know we should do some more science later and hook a tank up to it. We'll do that later. We're gonna do some more science, hook a tank up to it, and see how much vapor it actually because it does drastically cut down the amount of vapor. It does, but do you know how much those things vapor. cost? I don't. I don't know yet. It seems like they're gonna be pricey. I'm guessing like at least 150. Yeah, I would maybe two be bills. Two bills, I would say probably. Maybe it's gonna be two bills. bills. So it doesn't totally kill the clouds. It doesn't. It's not a cloud killer. Not even a Assassinator of the clouds? Not assassinator? Assassin? Assassin? Do you, do, do you even English, bro? Do you? Do you? you? Grammar? Assassinator. What would you call it? You can call it RDA the assassinator. Cloud plumber. It's like the cloud reducer. Yeah. They, they should have called it the cloud drastically reducer. Yeah. But not that. Killer. But that doesn't killer have means quite like the same marketing rate. 